What's going on guys, we are here with another video on the channel, back with another class that we kind of took a break from that class that we're here with the FN SCAR 17 class up. I know a lot of you guys, I haven't really been asking for it, but it's kind of a gun. I haven't seen too, too many people cover, so I kind of wanted to get a video out about it. And uh, this is the best class setup I have found. Before we get into it, man, I need you guys all to hit that like button, the subscribe button, the notification with the 20 likes on the video. You guys have been absolutely killing the like button lately, getting upwards of 30 likes on some of my videos. I really, really, really do appreciate it. Um, a lot of my videos are over 2,000, 3,000 views right now, and I, it's insane. I appreciate the support so much. We're going to keep grinding, man. Sorry for the, kind of like the days I've been kind of missing and here and there i've been really busy um you know with school and just chilling with people and just uh, always busy with family and stuff so i'm doing my best to get my videos out for you guys i'm doing my, my best to play and stuff so uh you know let's get right into the class setup fn scar 17 it's the last assortful you unlock i oh, no, sorry second to last assortful you unlock in this game and it's my opinion one of the lower tier weapons probably like the fourth or fifth tier ar and it's really not the best but like this is the best class that i have found for myself we have the monolithic suppressor um, we have the GI mini reflex, we have the stippled rear grip, we have the 30 round mag, and we have the commando foregrip. And now one thing, if you guys want to, I would change is you change out the, the GI mini reflex and you put on the, um, this, the forge tack QC pro. But honestly, I don't really like the iron sights on this gun, so I kind of have to use the optic. But this is the class that I found the best that works for me. I have a couple gameplays in ground war for you guys to kind of enjoy. Um, but this is the final, with all the attachments unlocked, this is what I would rock with. And I hope you guys use this class setup. And let me make sure to let me know what you guys like about it. What class setup do you guys usually use? Anything like that, make sure to let me know. Um, definitely try it out because obviously none of these class setups are final. And there's so many different ways you can build guns in this game. It's insane. So make sure to let me know what you guys usually run. Anyways, guys, peace out. Hope you guys enjoy the breakdown of the pros and cons. And I'll see you guys in the gameplay. What's up guys, so here we are getting to get into the pros and cons of the SCAR um, in this game, man. This game, the SCAR is a lot different from other past Call of Duty. It's a way different type of playstyle weapon, and it's not even comparable to any Modern Warfare 3 or any other type of Call of Duties. This gun is completely separate, completely different from what we, we all knew the SCAR was. This year, they kind of completely revamped it. They made it a more hard-hitting, slower-paced weapon instead of that fast-paced, you know, uh, you know, kind of like that Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2 SCAR, you know, everybody knows that, that SCAR was really, really overpowered. And, uh, the only thing they really kind of kept the same with this thing was the low bullet count. Before we get into the pros and cons, man, if you have not already hit that subscribe, make sure that like notification bell, um, you know, and that like button as well. Let's get the 20 likes on the video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. You've been killing the support on the channel, man. We are halfway to 6,000 subscribers already this year, and I couldn't be more thankful. So thank you guys so, 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 so much. Anyways, let's get out of the pros and cons of the SCAR H. Or, I guess it's like called like the FN SCAR in this game, but if I refer to the SCAR H, you know, it is what it is. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the SCAR pros and cons. Pros, since like I said, it is a very hard-hitting, slower-paced weapon. This gun absolutely excels at medium to long ranges. Um, ground war, this, this gun's perfect for. Because you can just sit back and kind of pick people off at range and not have to worry about it. But you can also do some damage up close as well. If you guys have an ADS on someone, you guys can kill some up close and not have to worry about it at all. It's like a three bullet kill, and it's really no worries at all if you, as long as you have the ADS, man. Um, like I said, at range, this gun absolutely excels. Um, you can sit there on a mounted thing and just beam kids across the map, three, four bullets still. With a headshot, it's like a two bullet kill. It's still an absolutely insane weapon, and uh, by far, you know, it definitely is like the best, like I said, at medium to long ranges. Mobility wise, as I mentioned, man, this gun absolutely sucks um, running around the map, kind of like playing cracked like an SMG player. If you guys are an SMG player or you run up against kids that are good at SMGs, man, don't find yourself winning any gunfights because this gun is not made to run around with. The gun is not made to play like that. The gun, like I said, is made kind of sit back on like a head glitch and kind of like pick people off as they run across like an open field or something like that. It's not really, you know, too focused on running around the map cracked out like a player like that. So, with that, what I mean by that is the mobility on it, um, ADS speed is kind of slower, and in, in this class, I man, I tried to build that up, I tried to make sure you add on ADS speed, make sure to add on the movement speed as much as possible with the stocks and stippled grip and, uh, and stuff like that, I did my best to kind of build up the, the kind of flaws of the weapon to make an overall very, very good gun. Which I think I tried my best tour, and I think honestly this is the best class that you can get with it. I haven't really fully leveled it up all the way, but so far as what I've seen from other class setups, it's kind of this is kind of like the same type of class that other people are using. There's really not too much other to unlock on the gun to make it really, 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 really good. Um, 
But, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much the pros of the gun, the negatives of the gun, like I said. Bad movement speed, ADS speed sucks. Um, hip fire on it really sucks. But it, overall, to recap, it is like a hard hitting, kind of slower paced assault rifle where you can sit back and kill kids, mounted kids, kind of like a more campy weapon. But if you need to, you can kill kids up close if you get that pre aim on them, and if you're ready for them, and you, like, you know, on that. Also, more negatives is the gun has a really low bullet count, and it really has a lot of recoil, so you gotta kind of like, you know, find a medium there where you can kind of get that decent bullet count. Bullet count with the extended mags while also having that also recoil control with the grip. Anyways, guys, that's the class man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Appreciate you guys so much. You guys are absolute legends. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Make sure you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, man. Hope you guys did enjoy these gameplays. Uh, peace out, guys, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. See ya.